Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. Australian business groups are welcoming news the international border is set to reopen. The PM has confirmed all fully vaccinated travellers will be allowed back into the country from the 21st of February. It comes almost two years after tourists were banned from entering. Chamber of Commerce and Industry Chief Executive Andrew McKellar says we need to ensure it doesn't happen again. Now that we've taken this uh, step, then uh, really it's something that we've got to stick to. Uh, it is very good news uh, for an industry which has really borne the brunt of the economic impact uh, of the pandemic over the past uh, two years. We've got to put that behind us. A shot in the arm for our vaccine supply in Australia. Three million vials of Novavax have arrived here from Singapore. Canberra has ordered 51 million all up. They will be rolled out in pharmacies across the country. The religious discrimination bill is said to be on top of the agenda when federal parliament sits again today. The coalition only has 10 sitting days before a likely May election to get the legislation passed. Aged care providers are said to be boosted by Defence Force support to give burnt out staff a helping hand. Up to 1,700 personnel will be rolled out across critical care and logistics. Aged and Community Service Australia's Paul Sadler says the staffing situation is pretty dire. We've lost the ability to have all of our staff thanks to COVID and we've been running anywhere from 25 to 30 percent down on staff numbers which in turn impacts on our ability to care for older people. In sport and in Beijing, Aussie speed skater Brendan Corey has crashed out of his 1,000 metre quarter final, ending his chances of a medal at the Winter Games. He had been sitting in third place before the crash. And the details of Justin Langer's resignation letter to Cricket Australia have been revealed. In it, he accepts he lost support of some players and staff. And in entertainment news, Will Smith is getting involved in a new National Geographic project that will see him travel to both ends of the earth. Pole to pole will follow his journey from the South Pole to the North Pole. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.